Hello and sigh. Nobody is perfect, not even me dear viewer, and sometimes things get lost in the wash. Today I want to cover the characters I you kind of forgot about while doing my previous Accents of Westeros videos. To start with we have Roz, everybody's favourite hooker with a heart of, well, money. Roz has an earthy northern accent which is great because she's from Winterfell. And you can afford that. Some of my friends are more generous than others. A thousand girls like you in King's Landing. So I'll have lots of company. Jojen Reed, another northerner, has a southern RP accent for some reason. You must be summer. Now, people have pointed out in the comments before that the noble houses may all share a sort of standardised accent, which is why so many of them sound southern. This does make a lot of sense. For a real life example of this, take Rose Leslie, who plays Egret. She grew up in a castle in Scotland, yet speaks with a very posh English accent. Yeah, this is the accent that I've always had. So where are you from? Um, I'm, bizarrely enough, I'm actually from Scotland. No! Yeah! Mira Reed, Jojen's sister, also has a very well-spoken RP voice. Hard to find. Don't be ashamed, your brother. Needing you to protect him. Where's the shame in that? Any boy his age who needs his sister to protect him is going to find himself needing lots of protecting. Some people will always need help. Scepter Onella, who managed the incredible task of glamming down Hannah Waddingham, speaks in a kind of RP meets estuary accent. She doesn't get many lines aside from shouting shame 500 times. I said my face would be the last thing you saw before you died, do you remember? Good. I'm glad to see you. I'm ready to meet the gods. Angai the Archer, who hails from the Dornish border with the Stormland, speaks with a Liverpudlian accent. You know, like the Beatles. When I'm done talking, that arrow's falling down on your fat head. So I advise you move, because I'm done talking. Marillion, the bard who paid a hefty price for singing a very funny song about King Robert getting cucked to death, speaks in an estuary accent that sounds a lot like David Tennant when he plays Doctor Who. He's Scottish in real life, so I guess that makes sense. Boy, bread, meat and beer, quickly. Oh, God, dear grandfather, I'm starving. A song, Bobby White? Lem Lemoncloak, who is much more of a twat in the show than he is in the book, speaks in a southern English accent. Stay safe. The night is dark and full of terrors. Brother Ray of House Lovejoy is a show-only character. He speaks in a northern accent and there's no reason to assume he's not from up that way. I mean, these people don't know how to fight. You do. I'm done with fighting. Even if it's to protect yourself. Violence is a disease. Teela, the girl that reminds Davos of Shireen, is from Winterfell and speaks in a northern accent. Well done, show. All the children will be going below when the time comes. Lyanna Stark, both versions, speak in a northern accent much like her siblings. Right here. I've missed you, big brother. And lastly, Old Nan. The old version and the slightly less old version both have area-appropriate voices. Oh, Nan. Look at the size of him. If he ever learned to fight, he'd be unstoppable. Well, he's never going to learn to fight because he's a stable boy. <laughs> Don't listen to it. Crows are all liars. That's about it. Thanks as always, and I will see you in Essos next time. Bye then. <laughs>